60 minutes. I am Ayanta from BCAQ Second Stand Bachelor. First of all, thank you for respected Raju Padhar sir who given a great opportunity to stand over here and present a snapshot of Fibonacci series. Now, the Fibonacci sequence is a type series where each number is the sum of two that preceded. It usually started from 0 and 1. The Fibonacci sequence is given by 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8 and so on. Now, so let's let's move to practical section. Okay. As we say, Fibonacci series will have started from 0 and 1. And in this Fibonacci series, we can add this two number and is equal to 1. This is a third number. And we can add this two number. This is equal to 2. And this is the fourth number. And this is called Fibonacci series. Now, Here we write a code, we use int data type for integer value and we declare variable r a is equal to minus 1, b is equal to 0, so 1 and c and i. Then we can use printer function for inter range number. Then we use a scanner for uh, putting the value of range by user and we can use for loop. And in this for loop, we will slide i is equal to 0 and take, uh, we take a condition if i is less than r, then we come into this block of code. Okay? And in this block of code, we take c is equal if c is equal a plus b, it means a is equal to minus 1 and b is equal to 1. So minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. So c is equal to 0. Then we print C value is 0. Then we square the both value A is equal to B means A is equal. Here we write A is equal to minus 1 and A is equal to B means 1. So A is equal to 1 and B is equal to C. Here we write C is equal to 0. Then B is equal to 0. Okay. Then we can add this to. Okay. Add this to. So C is equal to 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. Okay, we can check after that we go into there. I can write i plus plus. It means i is equal to zero. And after initialization, i is equal to one. Okay, and we again come to this block of code and go through this uh, step, repeat and repeat. Uh, and it till now, if the condition is false, then it break the code and execute. If I Run this program. Um, execute. Compile and run. So, enter a range number. If I write 5, okay, and then enter. So, my number is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3. And we can take 0 and 1. If I add 0 and 1, it is equal to 1. If I add 1 plus 1, it is equal to 2. If I add 2, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. And this number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's what I do.